This is about the theology of suicide. Let me start by saying that I think suicide is unfortunate and that I hope no one engages in suicide. And I think that all humans pretty much have a potential to create a life worth living for their own selves. And I'll even go far to go so far as to say I think that suicide can likely be quite immoral and unethical, but the point of this, my concluding point will be that, well, ultimately forcing someone to not, forcing an adult to not engage in suicide using coercion and physical force is worse than the actual suicide. But yeah, I'm titling this The Theology of Suicide. So, of is a preposition or something. Suicide is a an act, a deed, and theology is something that has to do with God and religious beliefs, um, beliefs about the afterlife, and so on and so forth. And because theology deals with the afterlife and when somebody engages in suicide, they die, and they have a life after the life on earth, potentially, unless you believe they just die and go into the ground. Well, that is where theology and suicide intersect. And the fact that theology deals with the afterlife, and suicide puts one into the afterlife. At least they're not on Earth anymore. You know, maybe they get maybe they get reincarnated on this planet or another planet. That's sort of maybe a Buddhist uh, theology. Um, an atheist might say they just are put into the ground and turn into dust, and nothing more happens. Um, a Christian might say they go to heaven or hell or purgatory. Um, but I think it's hard to deny that there is an intersection of suicide and theology. So, suicide, rather than being a medical issue, seems to be a moral and philosophical and potentially theological issue, and therefore, in a great part because of that, it should be a personal choice and it should be illegal to use force and coercion to stop an adult from engaging in suicide. I definitely think we should use peaceful persuasion to try and persuade individuals to keep living on earth and to create a life worth living for their own self, but I don't think we should force individuals to partially because there are implicit religious slash theological aspects of suicide if we are forcing a particular moral stance regarding suicide on someone, actually using physical force, well, I think that is not necessarily respecting their implicit or explicit positions about what happens after they die, because of the 30,000 or so people that kill themselves just in the United States each year, chances are that they think whatever's going to happen after they die is better than what's happening, than what they're experiencing on Earth at that time. And again, there's about between 30 and 40,000 suicides in the United States each year, and I think that's unfortunate, and I think that'd be great if we can get it to zero. However, for those 30,000 people, they are choosing death because they think it's going to be better for them. They think the afterlife is going to be better for them than what it is on Earth, and that whether that is a reincarnation you know, a heaven, uh, or some other spiritual realm, or just going into dust, is better for them. And that's a personal choice, a personal decision. Even if it is morally or ethically wrong, 
we sh you know if we if we want to live in a truly secular society that respects the explicit and implicit theological positions that people hold then we should not be using force and coercion on adults who are not harming others and that probably has other other implications as far as you know um, non-violent drug users who respect the rights of others but uh yeah so let me reiterate that I'll, I'm about to end this uh, so I hope you found this interesting <sighs> again I hope that we as a society here on earth is a, is a race, is a species of, of humans <laughs> not a race, is a species that we can help eliminate suicides and that no adult wants to engage in suicide I don't think, uh, you know, and I think if we can help people using kindness and persuasion then we could potentially make that happen but I think using coerce and force, coercion and force is likely just making the problem worse ultimately and we shouldn't do that. I'm all, I'm all for voluntary counseling and psychiatry, it's just the involuntary that I think is an abuse of human rights so uh, yeah um, I guess I'll end it there Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Watch my other videos. Visit my websites and have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, or night, whenever and wherever you may be.